Hello everyone, I'm Reza Tangestani and in this video I'm going to talk about the deload subroutine in Abacus. At first, I'm going to talk about the code, how it works and what is it. Deload subroutine is something like this and uh, you can get it from the Ab Abacus documentation. If you need to find uh, more information, you can go to our previous video which which explained this, uh, the subroutine code the raw code is some, uh, something like this it's a subroutine as you can see it has uh, a few variables as they are defined for you but in the end you need to define the value for load the value that we can use our cast which is step number k increment is uh, increment number time one current value we, we're going to talk about the time one and time two and noel element number npt node a load integration point number and k step and k step is that it's not very important we're not going to talk about it and chords which uh, represent the coordinates of the nodes and integration points in the elements at first time time one is current value and time two is current value of the total time so if for example if we have a model which is about four seconds and uh, we it's divided to three step the first one is one second the second one is two seconds the third one is one second as well so if we have a we are in the this point in this in, uh, increment in the second step time one which is the local represents the time in the step it should be 0 0.2 but time 2 is 1 0 1 1.2 because it adds the value of the previous steps all the steps in before that the current step uh, so now if we have it if we are in this point uh, I want you th to think about it what are the values for time 1 and time 2 uh, if you find the answer now you can uh, resume the video a time one in here it should be 0 0.5 because it's the time in the this step and time two it should be one plus two plus 0 0.5 which is 3.5 okay integration point uh, i'm not going to go to with details in this part uh, but integration points are very important for us and uh, abacus uses integration point for solving the fem model uh, as you can see each model has a few uh, nodes and uh, in the 2 and 3D uh, elements, but the integration point in the, in, in the middle of the elements. We can see we cannot see the integration point in the cuboid because it's in the middle of it. And then uh, Abacus apply uh, gets the value from the integration point and then applies the uh, re results to the integration point. Chords. Uh, chords, as you can see, chords one, two, three are the representing the direction. For example, if we are in the Cart Cartesian uh, system, the first one is x, second y, third is z. Um, in cylindrical, the first one is uh, r, sec uh, second one is theta, and third one is z. In uh, spherical, the first one is r, second is theta, and the third one is phi and about the model we only need to define the young modules we're not going to define the plastic region it's not important for here the density is about 7800 the young module is about 200 gigapascal and the portion is 0.3 this is the geometry uh, the lengths and weights are 40 centimeter and the, the the radius that we want to apply the load on is the two centimeters so we, we just need to apply the load in the uh, circle part of the the plate and this is the value for the load and in the end after solving the model we can see the results uh, like this okay uh, now we can go with the abacus to create the model we start with part in here we need to create a planner geometry so we go with solid uh, sorry with shell planner one deformable 3d then the first point should be zero and zero and the second one is uh, 0 0.4 and 0 0.4 here it is then we can go with the property in property we need to define the density elastic 
for Elastic, for Young Modulus, we need to just assign 200 gigapascal. Uh, portion ratio is 0 0.3. Density is 7800. And I think it's enough for now. Then in here, we need to create a section. In Shell, Homogeneous, we select the par, uh, we set the value. The value is 0 0.01. And then five integration points is enough. 0 0.01 is it means one centimeters. Then we can assign it. Here it is, section one is good. We can go to assembly and assembly. We need just to assign the part, uh, insert the part, and in, instead we need to create the static step and LGM. And then the initial is 0 0.1. Everything's fine here then we can use the load. For load, the important part is that we need to put the pressure on the surface. So we, I select the pressure, I select the whole part, and then I said, okay, it says brown or purple, it's brown. And then we should use user subroutine to allow us to use the subroutine. Part. And then the magnitude is one. And after that, I need to assign the uh, boundary condition, symmetry and anti-symmetric and caster. I select edges in here so I can select only edges. And then I use in caster. And after that, in mesh section, I put them. Uh, put them. I need to assign the node size. In here, I said 0 0.01. It's good. Then I can assign the mesh. You can see it. But before going, we need to change the formulation probably. Uh, we need to check it. So reduce integration, we probably need to uncheck it. It doesn't matter just for accuracy of the model. I prefer to uncheck it. Uh, it should be on the shell. Everything's fine now. And then we go to job. Before going to job, I need to change the set work directory. Okay, here it is. And now we can create the job. For creating a job, we don't need to change anything if we, um, everything's fine. And now we can, we should say write input. After putting the write input, we can see in the our directory file, there's a file named I, job INP. After this, you can see it says job INP. Okay. Here I prefer to save the model. I said deal load. Now we can go. Here's the job one, but before, and now we need to write the subroutine file. In here, I go with subroutine, I open it with the notepad plus plus or Plato, it doesn't matter. And then you can see this. I already write code, but I need to explain it to you. At first, we need to define the coordinates. As I said in the PowerPoint file, course one, it means the first coordinates, which is X in our model. Course two is second one, Y, course three is Z. So I just, I don't want to use these every time. So I say X equals to course one. So I, from now on, I can use X for, as a uh, variable for X direction. Bef after that, I need to assign zero value for F for load. If the element, if the integration point, it's in the in the play in the area that we wanted to apply the load, which is a radius by one centimeter. You see, it's the equation of the uh, circle. And if it is l smaller than the one centimeter, we need to apply this load. And then end if. After that, and it continues for if it goes for every node, every element in every increment. I think it's good now. And now we can run the model. For, for running the model, we can say we can press Shift and right click on the screen, and then you can see Open PowerShell Windows here. You're gonna see this here. I can say Abacus user user is deload dot four job is equal job one dot inp interactive. If I needed to increase the CPU, I should say CPU is equal to two, but I don't need to change the CPU number of CPU. So I go with it. As you can see, the job is completed. Now we can check the model. Here it is. As you can see, the load is uh, applied in the middle of the plate. And uh, if I change it, so for example, Q, we didn't define any plastic data uh, property, so it should be all zero. 
so it's always in elastic. In esters, you can see it's only applied in the middle. So it, as you can see, the loads only in the center of it, apply in the center of it, which uh, I think it's enough for now. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any question, please let us know so we can uh, help you with. Uh, until the next video, bye.